Hi guys, uh, my name is Vineet Aroda. I have 15 years of experience in IT industry uh, in .NET along with open source GIS tools. Yes, along with that, I have also experience in Azure and Azure DevOps with around five plus years of experience. And I have uh, experience in implementing solutions using the .NET, Web APIs, Azure Platform and Services, OAuth, Azure Active Directory by using the B2B and B2C. Uh, experience in Windows services as well in front-end technology as the experience with respect to the angular in publisher subscription model I have the experience in RabbitMQ Azure service bus I have also used the MSMQ with respect to Azure yes I have the good experience in that as well starting from the app services right uh, SQL server Azure SQL servers Azure key vault uh, so yes let me tell you what is my agenda uh, my agenda is to have uh, to get a number of videos in Azure and Azure DevOps. I will start from the Azure DevOps first. And why? Reason is why. Uh, basically, I have seen a number of people who are looking to make their career in Azure or Azure DevOps. And I have also seen a number of people who are in the in between of their career or they are already working in some companies and they want to have the implementation of Azure or Azure DevOps in their ongoing project. They want to create the uh, continuous integration, continuous de uh, continuous deployment pipelines, right? So, so I thought if I have the experience and I have the good experience in uh, working knowledge on Azure and Azure DevOps, why not to share this knowledge with others as well? Uh, so, what I am going to cover, I am going to I am going to create a number of videos first, uh, starting from the Azure DevOps. And what are the topics that I will cover? Let me tell you about those. Uh, so, I am going to cover these topics in Azure DevOps. I will start from the organization, uh, creation of organization, creation of project, and then user configuration. How we can create the user in. Uh, in our organization and how we can assign with respect of this user to uh, to projects right and then what are the types of user what are the types of user support provided by the azure like uh, we can have the free user we can have the paid user we can have the stakeholder user uh, to nothing need, uh, to which we don't need to give any uh, we don't need to pay anything Right. we can have the also the Azure subscription uh, Visual Studio subscriber user so I will cover all those topics in this and then I will cover the I will go through with boards um, in which I will go through like what are the topics uh, what are the epics what are the features and what are the PBIs and so how we can create the epic feature and PBIs how we can create the task there right then uh, after that I will cover the repository part repository in which I will cover that uh, how we can create the branches how we can create the branches how we can create the branch policies how we can do the build validation and uh, how we can do the pull request how we can go by the approval process and then uh, how we can copy the repository from one project to another project so i will give you a brief introduction or i will say the brief uh, brief thing that how we can do as a practical way right uh, what are the real challenges? What are the real problems that we face while working on, on actual development in our project? Uh, then we have the, uh, I will go with the continuous integration. Continuous integration, which is the actual thing like uh, uh, in which we will see that how we can uh, build our code automatically. We know we can build our code locally on a machine. Uh, but how we can, how we can, how we are going to do the automation with respect to it. So we will see it there. Then uh, what I will do, I will create a sample.net project. I will show you that how we can do the automation of build. I will also show you that how we can automate the test case, test case execution, how we can get the code coverage in pipeline itself, right? And uh, I will tell you that uh, about the artifacts, that uh, the artifact basically the build, uh, build document, whatever we will give, build, uh, build DLLs that we will give, how we will publish it. Right and publish it. Don't get confused about uh, with uh, with this word publishing. I will tell you in detail. So uh, once we will actually cover. So this is nothing. This is about the uh, uh, use uh, storing of artifact at some place, and then you we will pick up these artifacts or DLLs into uh, in continuous deployment, and we'll use them. 
I will cover the what is the difference between YAML and classic editor. So we'll see that how we can create the pipeline via the YAML file, YAML, yet another markup language and classic editor. What are the benefits? What are the pros and cons? Right. Uh, then after that, we will see the continuous deployment. Continuous deployment that is releases. Or oh, once we will have the artifact produced by the uh, continuous integration, how we are going to use those artifacts, right? So we will use those artifact uh, in deployment purpose. So, but where we will deploy, we will deploy in the Azure App Services. So I will test some part of Azure as well. I will show you that how we can have the Azure App Service and how we can integrate the Azure and Azure DevOps. So that will be covered by service principles. So, so basically what we will do, we will deploy, we will do the automatic deployment, but Azure DevOps is uh, one thing and Azure is uh, one thing, how we are integrating. So I will show you. Uh, I will also show you about the deployment of database because I have seen a number of people who, are, who have created their project in the, uh, who have done the automation, but here they are uh, facing challenge with respect to the database because uh, it become very typical to how how we can use the database deployment so i will show you that how we can do the automation of deployment how we can use the database as a code and uh, yes uh, after that i will show uh, i will show you how we can integrate the azure keywords basically we will store our configuration keys in database uh, in keywords and how we are going to consume that in our pipelines uh, i will demonstrate uh, I will also demonstrate you how we can do the automation of mails like once we will have the deployment on any staging uh, like on development stage on QA stage on production stage how we are going to have the automation of mails uh, right then uh, about the versioning very important topic um, uh, how we are going to do the versioning how we are going to the uh, yes versioning in the leases so basically I will tell you uh, there are some versions provided by the Azure itself but if you want to have our own versions because uh, in real time scenario if you will work in a we are going to work in an actual project so there we will have we should have the version like 1.0.0 1.0.1 how we are going to automate that how we are going to implement that and how we are going to uh, link the CI and CD with respect to that uh, then I will cover the uh, app configurations or we can have the configuration as per the staging uh, staging like if we have some configuration in the development we will have some configuration on the QA but we will we should have the same artifact if we are going from the QA to uh, production or staging right so how we are going to see the same artifact and uh, but we are how we are going to change the old configuration so I will demonstrate that stuff to you and in Azure Artifact, yeah, before coming to Artifact, let me also uh, update about the deployment. I will also update about the scheduling part, how we can uh, schedule our deployment automatically. For example, if we have some code or someone has pushed his, pushed his or her changes or someone has merged the changes, how we are going to schedule automatically. For example, on the Friday night, we have merged something and we should have the build ready. We should have the deployment ready uh, on the on QA or some uh, some stage right so i will cover this topic uh then yeah la, let's come back to azure artifact in azure artifact what we are going to cover we are going to cover the uh, how we can have our uh, basically let me tell you in detail slightly detail here if uh, if uh, we are working on a real time project and there is a one module which is the common module where we can see the one uh, common library we want to have and this common library need to be used by the multiple module right let me tell you once again if we have a common library that need to be used by multiple module and then uh, our common code how we can have that common module at one place because we know we have the NuGet package right we can create the NuGet package and we will uh, we will do the same stuff we'll create the NuGet package and we will push this NuGet package to Azure artifact and that will be consumed by Visual Studio as well as uh, this will be consumed in our uh, CI pipelines so yeah we will show how we can do this and interview preparation <laughs> so in interview preparation let me tell you very frankly i'm not going to cover any specific session on interview preparation uh but yes once uh, i will be covering all about these topics i will in between to show you that uh, uh, i will tell you that what are the possible questions that can be asked in interview right i'm not going to cover any inter specific interview question but yes in each topic i will tell you that in this topic these questions may arise uh, and you need to focus on these area even not even from the uh, in interview purpose even if you are working practically so that you should be aware that yes this is the important topic that uh, i will tell you 
uh, now now come now let's come to that what i am expecting from you i am expecting from you to be sincere on this because uh, uh, sincere in the sense that uh, you you will have to be sincere not uh, like for each videos or for each lessons don't go by just the way if uh, if you know that uh, you have covered this organization i have covered the project and organization and project creation like like first step then what you need to do you need to do it yourself after watching my video you need to do it yourself and in situation in any case you face uh, you feel any problem that you want to uh, you are stuck at some point you may uh, you may come back to me i will provide you my email id or you may also comment in video section itself yes so i will definitely uh, reply to the, your comment and will help you out in that scenario okay yes now the topic comes as what is the motivation for me to go ahead so yes i am not going to take you any fees i am going to have this on youtube so you will be able to see it without any cost and that will be absolutely free and but i'm looking i'm just looking to have your likes comments and subscription because that will be the only motivation point for me if i will, I will see that i am being used by so many number of people or my knowledge is being shared uh, or i am getting helpful to others somewhere as for these number of people i have the such number of subscription that is going to be definitely motivate me and yes i will continue to do that stuff so yes Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's meet in our next video in which I will cover the Azure DevOps. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.